Super Coders. We're going to continue on from our talk during the last video. Start out by adding the button ID followed by this. You'll probably notice an error. That's because we need to add something in the parentheses we check. Inside these parentheses, type this. Now there's one last error we need to fix. Click on the red squiggly line that pops up and press Alt Enter. You should see the option to implement methods. Press Enter and the first option should let you add an on click method. Check off the checkbox that says Insert at Override and click OK. That was a lot of steps. It was. If you have any trouble with this part, check out the red section in the code below to see what it should look like. If everything's good, you should have an empty method called onClick. Here, we'll want to get the text that the user typed into the edit text box, then convert it to a string and store it in a username variable. This code is exactly that. Now we just need to set the text view to our greeting plus the user's name. That's simple enough to do. Just use this code. Remember to make the text view ID whatever you set yours to. Feel free to change the text that the user sees. That's it for the app. If you have any trouble with it, compare your code with ours. Try adding other elements and coding them into your app. Or try using if statements to change the greeting to pin on the first letter of the user's name. You might have noticed that your app crashes if the user doesn't type in a name, but then clicks the button. You could fix this using a try-catch ball. Bye, Bye Supercoders! Super